Hey, we're in the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 23, verses 50 to 53. Let's see what happens next. Now behold, there was a man named Joseph, a council member, a good and just man. He had not consented to their decision and deed. He was from Arimathea, a city of the Jews, who himself was also waiting for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down, wrapped it in linen, and laid it in a tomb that was hewn out of the rock, where no one had ever lain before. Let's pause there for a moment. Here, Jesus has died. His body has been hanging on the cross now, and he's deceased. And this person, Joseph, Joseph, he goes into Pilate. Maybe he was that significant of a rich fella. He was part of the council. He had they left him out of their deliberations. Part of the time, he had not, this had, wasn't his plan. He was a believer. But he goes, and this he's got enough status in the community that he's able to go and appear before Pilate. Hey, I want the body of Jesus. I'm going to bury it in a tomb. Would you, would you please grant this permission to me? So Pilate does. So Joseph takes down, the body of Jesus is taken down, and it's, it's late Friday afternoon, very, very, very late, and it's just about evening. Remember, when the sun goes down, that's how the, the reckoning of days to day, day is from sundown to sundown. It's, it's something on the Sabbath you wouldn't want to mess with. So they're going to take Jesus immediately, and it's nearby. He takes him, and he puts him in the tomb that he, perhaps he is a rich person. He himself has prepared that tomb for himself for when he dies. And so Jesus is buried then in his tomb. So there were believers, and Joseph was one of them, and he has respect. He has respect for the, indicates respect for the authorities, but he asked for the body so he can bury it and treat it with respect. This, this man, we expect to see him in the kingdom. He's on God's side. He's on the team of Jesus. You and I, we want to be on, on God's side, on his team. And so, friend, uh, look at the way this person, very humbly, but he addresses the need. There's an immediate need, and he's going to address it. So Jesus now is taken, and he's buried. Not a bone in his body is broken, but he's going to be buried there in the tomb. But, you know, don't want to get ahead of the story, but I think Joseph was going to be able to use this tomb uh, later on for his own needs anyway. But for now, we'll leave it there. There's something I like about Joseph. Here, when everybody's mocking Jesus, treating him like the scum of the earth, laughing at him and spitting on him and, and doing every kind of indignity to him, here is a man, an important person in the culture, and he stands up and he treats Jesus with respect. I like that. I think that's important. I think we need more people today that will stand up for their beliefs and be what they are and not be shifting and wiggling around like some kind of a noodle because the culture, because, oh, this is out. Of, if I if I support this person now, uh, I might get canceled, you know, or if I if I don't go along with this thing, I'll just be quiet and go along with this thing. We need some people now. I need to be one. You need to be one who can stand up and say, this is the truth of God. This is the truth of humanity. This is this is where I stand. And you can you can try to change everything around me. The transhumanists can try to change everything around us, but the tr but, but the world as it actually is, that's what I'm going to stand on, the world that God made and the way he made it and his plan for humans. I'm going to stand on that. All right, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Joseph. It was unpopular. It was dangerous for his reputation, but he came and he took the body of Jesus and treated it with dignity. Now, Lord, we thank you that you can help us to be people of courage in an hour of cowardice, bless us and help us to serve you in this crazy time. Lord, help us to grow some spine, some backbone, so that we can stand for Jesus now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, stand for Jesus and do it now. God bless you today.